this is how we start. This is how we start. <laughs> and then like a bunch of middle-aged white ladies do it. <laughs> and we're here. You're right, welcome. Hi, you guys. We are about to have, we are already having the best time. We are planting in J.J. Heller's kitchen garden. Woo! <laughs> so it is almost spring here. It is March 2nd, and her garden is primed and ready for cool season planting. And we got all the plants. We brought a lot of compost. We brought some um, plant tags. We brought potatoes, garlic, kale, Swiss chard, flowers, uh, salad seeds, peas, like all the stuff. Amazing. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Okay, so if you want to check out her garden right now, it's a perfect picture of what happens when we like survive winter, right? Yeah. It's just like little remnants of seasons gone by <laughs> and uh, so right now this is like clean out time so first the first thing we're gonna do is get into the bed and just clean it out so we're gonna cut any like perennials that are kind of looking a little rough we may pull some things out if they don't look like they're gonna come back okay. and then we're gonna top off the beds I like to type them top them off with just plain mushroom compost so we're gonna literally fill these up if you look at her beds they are so beautiful and deep they are two feet tall and it looks like she's a little bit more than one board down and so each board is six inches i'm going to give you a little math so you can figure out how to top off your beds okay. okay so your whole bed is two by six is that right yes okay so one square foot i mean one um foot tall of this bed would be two by six by one so that'd be 12 cubic feet if this was all the way down to here right so like if you're going to order soil soil you would say i need to get 12 cubic feet of soil okay, okay if it was all the way down to here, but it's only down about six inches. So we're just gonna cut that in half. So instead of going two by six by one, we go two by six by a half. So then we need how much? Six. Six cubic feet, exactly. Woo! So six cubic feet here, and then it's about the same in that bed because she has the same, uh, they're equal, they're sy symmetrical. So we need basically 12 cubic feet. So generally when you head to the store, they sell most things in a cubic foot. Okay. So what I did is I bought 10 bags of compost, mushroom compost, and then I bought two bags of like an amendment that they have that kind of loosens up the compost. So we're gonna mix that into each of the bags of the compost. Um, so hopefully we have just the right amount because my goal is to get the soil level all the way up to the top. Oh wow, okay. So that JJ can grow things <gasps> over. Because I want, like when I come back, I want everything to be like vining over the bed. Wouldn't that be good? Yeah. Yeah. So we got to get the soil level up higher to make that possible. Can, can you get chills about plants? Because I just got chills. <laughs> <laughs> you can, JJ. All right. All right. So we're going to get to work. We're going to stop talking, start working. But that's our first plan. We're going to clear out, add the compost and the, um, the amendment. And then it's time to do the best part, which is planting, right? Yay. All right. So here we go. Put on your gloves. Let's do this. I had been doing just like a three-tiered little wooden build your own yeah. Amazon yeah. kit thing. I wanted to kind of tiptoe my way into things. And I, yay. And I was successful enough that I wanted to try to take it to the next level. Yeah. However, our yard is small. Yeah. And we can see it from our living room. And you wanted it to be pretty. Yeah. yeah. And like all of the gardens that I had seen, all of the vegetable gardens, they were practical, but kind, kind of, of ugly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I found uh, Nicole. There's a quote. <laughs> kind of so how did you find me? I don't remember. Wow. Somehow um, on Instagram. But I was so inspired by the way that you had managed to make kitchen gardens beautiful Aww. and also part of the landscaping. Yeah. Um, and I just kind of became obsessed and read all of your posts. And then I got your book and we used all of the measurements to build our planter boxes. Man. 
I just loved, I loved like the, the trellis idea in between the planter boxes was such a revelation to yeah. me. And especially here because so pretty. there's such a blank space between these windows. And when you had this thing full last year, oh my God, yeah. it was gorgeous. Yeah, all of my neighbors, like at the end of the season, will go around. We have so many tomatoes that we just offer them to, oh. to all of our neighbors, uh -huh. which is another thing I love about having a garden. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, to share. Yeah. It's like community. Yeah. Totally. Um, so we would, when we would see neighbors in the alley here, we would ask them if they wanted some tomatoes, and and, and they said, "You have tomatoes? Yeah, they're on the, the trellis. Those are tomatoes! Oh my god! Because it just it looks beautiful. beautiful. It looks like landscaping. It is landscaping. Yeah." I started gardening probably about six years ago when I was settling here in Tennessee. I had moved here from Phoenix, Arizona, um, tried a little bit to garden in Phoenix, and it was really, really hard because it gets very, very hot there. And Tennessee, everything is green, lots of things grow, and so I thought it was time to give it another shot. And I also thought it would be something fun to do with my two little girls at the time. So I bought a little three-tiered garden bed from Amazon and filled it up with dirt that was probably not very good. <laughs> good, not good quality dirt, and tried to grow some herbs, and that's, that's how I started. I have since graduated to growing cherry tomatoes. I think those are my absolute favorite because they grow on a trellis, and not only do they look beautiful but they taste amazing and you can you can pick them before the bugs or the birds get to them which is my favorite JJ, we did it. <laughs> I mean, it was like, I think we did this in two hours. Yeah. So cool. So tell me, tell me what we planted. Oh, okay. You don't have to name everything, but just, I'm going to sweep up and you tell the okay. people. Well, we have Swiss chard yeah. and kale and pansies 
and lettuces and snapdragons. Yeah. And sugar snap peas and garlic and green onion and chives. Oh my goodness, what didn't what didn't you we did? Oh, wow. basil. We're basil. gonna try basil and keep We're our fingers. We're testing our luck. Crossed. Yeah. We're way early with the basil, but that's okay. And then um, what do we put on oh, yeah. on the pollinator garden? Okay, we put a, a few potatoes in there. That's so for fun. Fun. We're like kind of breaking the rules here, but hey, like potatoes love butterflies too, right? <laughs> Okay, what else? Well, we, we replanted my sage plant, yeah. which was still in the bed, but yeah. wanted to replant it over there. Um, what, are, what are the other flowers yeah, that we planted? Yeah, so we have some violas, and then we added some... Ooh, I see some, time. Yep, yeah, we time added... right here, I love nice. time. Nice, very well done. So I that, have a really good time recipe. Oh, good, if you, you want have to it. give it to yeah. me. Cause I, time I, chicken marsala. Okay, I'll take it. It's really good. Any, because I only have five things that I cook. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. So it can be in my rotation. Yeah, okay. we can shake things up. The cool thing is she actually had some really nice plants coming back that were perennials. So we're excited about those. So we've got some coneflower and it looks like maybe an anise hyssop. And I think you also have maybe some rudbeckia, which is like the oh. black eyed Susan. Have you ever grown that? Yes. Okay. So it looks well, like it's coming okay. back. So I had like a seed packet that was like pollinator garden mix. Oh, and you so, just threw it out there. Uh -huh. Perfect. Well, yeah. it's stuck. You're obviously good at it. So we actually extended we did kind of a girl boss job <laughs> <laughs> so we shoveled the grass and I cleared it and then JJ went out she was very resourceful found us some cardboard I did and we covered it and I just like the continuation we're gonna come back later and add a r little nice edging here some steel edging to clean up the edge Wow but I think it already looks pretty cool yeah yeah she she texted me and was like I have this pollinator garden. Should I plant it and clean it up before you get here? And I'm like, uh-uh, <laughs> you better save that for me. Yay! Um, so we added some salvia, some large salvia at the back. And then we also planted some lemon balm and um, and then just some annuals so that we have color like right now, which are some violas and snapdragons. So, um, so tell me what's like one thing from today, if, if someone's watching this and they're like, what would it be like to like do a planting like this? Um, what's like a something like that's a good that's a big takeaway for you or that somebody else could learn from? Our okay, day? I think I was surprised when you didn't want to just rip out the leggy sage that survived all of the weather, yeah. but instead like repurposed it yeah. put over here. Okay, um, that was really cool. Um, I'm excited to try carrots and cilantro that didn't work for me before. Um, because I found out that I was planting it at the wrong time. Yeah. So it needs to be a cool weather crop. So I learned that. Um, I'm really excited about the sugar snap peas as well. I think I've tried those also and they didn't really do great. Yeah. So I think it was the time of the year. Yeah, timing is everything. It's like, that's what I say, the three keys to garden success is set up, which you already have, so JJ took the time to really give herself a wonderful setup. And we felt the difference, right, when we had to go plant over oh here. Oh my gosh, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. over here we're like, oh! Yeah, and you have over, to get down on the ground. And over and... here we're like, la, la, planting peas. <laughs> um, so she has the setup already. She had great soil. She has beautiful beds. She's got the trellis. She's got everything ready to go. So you did that. And then the next part is the timing. So setup, I think, is like 80% of success. Timing is like the other 15%. And then the final 5%, can you guess what I think it is? Patience? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Consistency. So okay. just doing it, right? Because it's like yeah. so many of us, it's like we're busy and we, like we have this dream of having a garden, but then reality sets in and we're just carpooling and cooking and doing all the things and we forget to like step out here. So the goal with the way we planted JJ's garden is literally tonight she can make a salad. So I'm gonna show her actually, we're gonna, she can cut a salad tonight from the garden. And the goal is that Amazing. you come out here at least three times a week okay. to cut either an herb, a salad grain, some flowers, something. And that's what gives you that consistency that like helps you go, oh, this didn't come up or, oh, the garden's dry or, oh, I see a caterpillar. So just like if we have enough to harvest out here, then the goal is that you'll come out enough that you'll notice the things that need your attention. Okay, cool. Secrets I can do that. of success. You got it. <laughs> um, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us for planting up JJ Heller's kitchen garden. I'm trying to talk her into writing me a song. <laughs> 
So if you guys think that she should write us a song, tell us in the comments what yeah. it should be called. Song lyric ideas are welcome. Yes, like put them down in the comments, all the song ideas you have for her to write. I mean, it'll be her song, but like I'm gonna use it in all my videos, so. Perfect. <laughs> all right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, JJ. Thank you, Natalie, Woo! for doing all the planting with us. It was awesome, and uh, what a wonderful day. I can't wait to see all this grow in. Hopefully we'll get to come back very soon. We're gonna water everything now and then just watch it grow. I'm so excited. All right, high five. <laughs> awesome, plant girls, the best.